CompTIA A plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.1. Given a scenario, install and configure laptop hardware and components. Wireless Cards. Wireless Network Interface Cards, also known as wireless NICs or wireless network adapters, are hardware components that allow computers and other devices to connect to wireless networks in scenarios where wired network connections, like Ethernet cables and RJ45 connectors, are not available. They are typically installed inside mobile devices to connect to a variety of wireless signals. Inside of laptops, these cards can come pre-installed or added as needed to provide connectivity to Bluetooth, Wi-Fi networks, and cellular networks. These cards can handle multiple frequencies and protocols to provide seamless connectivity for tasks such as internet browsing, file sharing, and streaming. For instance, Bluetooth cards are used for linking peripherals like keyboards, mice, and speakers. WLAN cards enable devices to connect to local Wi-Fi networks, and WAN cards connect to mobile phone networks for internet access over long distances or while traveling. Each type of card is designed to support specific wireless standards, ensuring that mobile devices can communicate effectively in different wireless environments. When you're ready to install or replace a wireless card in your laptop, be particularly mindful to power down the device as your first step. After ensuring the laptop is powered down and disconnected from all power sources, locate and open the compartment that houses the wireless card. If you're replacing an existing card, you'll see the antenna cables attached to it. Carefully detach the antenna cables from the old card. As you remove them, know how they are routed, traveling up from the motherboard and around the display tucked away under the screen's trim bezel. This grounding is deliberate to prevent signal interference and maximize the antenna's efficacy. When installing the new wireless card, gently reroute the antenna cables along the same path. Ensure the cables are laid flat and securely fastened along their designated path without any undue tension. After the card is seated and the antenna cables are correctly grouted, connect them to the new card. Next. Reassemble your device with care and close up any access panels. Once everything is back in place, you can power on your laptop and the operating system should recognize the new hardware, prompting you to install any necessary drivers. If a driver is needed, most vendors now offer them as downloads from their websites. With the antenna properly routed and the components secured, you can expect robust wireless performance from your newly installed card. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.